Welcome to 12 months of tea with Dilma. Today we're going to use a Dilma green rooibos with spearmint and lemongrass. And what I'm going to do is make a beautiful, simple skewer of prawns and local snapper on lemongrass skewers. So let's get into it. Looks like there's a lot to do, but it's actually quite simple. I'm not going to show you the grinding and everything because it's pretty basic, but what I want to do is show you how to add Dilma tea into your food. So I've got the green rooibos tea, and as this is sort of more like a herb, and it's mostly spearmint and lemongrass, so it's actually really like using a piece of lemongrass and a few sticks of spearmint. Into that, I'm putting some garlic, some ginger. When you're cooking with tea, try and use some of the natural ingredients as well. It just makes things a little bit easier. A Little bit of green chili. And what this is going to be is a spice paste that actually goes into my fish paste. Some coriander, a little bit of palm sugar, some finely chopped kaffir lime leaf, which will give you a really nice flavor. But don't put too much, otherwise you won't be able to taste everything else. And then some onion. Now this gets ground into a paste. If you don't have one of these, it's easy. Just use a little spice grinder or a blender. That's it, it's done. So now what I'm going to do is just put that paste into a little bowl. See the color of it? It's beautiful. It smells like lemongrass and spearmint. And then add a little bit of coconut cream. Now that gets set aside and mixes well together and I'm going to add that into my fish paste. So what I'm doing with a lovely fresh piece of fish, hey, you just need to cut the bones out and also the bloodline and chop it. The prawns, remove the tails, make sure that they've been deveined. You can also buy prawn meat. So now this gets chopped as well. And into that I'm adding some mint. If you can find spearmint, please do use that. A little bit of red chili, which is chopped. Some leek or shallot. And then some lemon juice. Check these lemons out. Local bush limes, full of juice, nice to eat. So now that that's done, I need to take my spice paste and my mixture, put it into a container, and I'm going to go and use a blender to chop it all up and blend it together. I take this away and I blend it, and I'll come back with a beautiful paste. So here it is, nice and sticky. Because the next thing I'm going to do is stick it onto a piece of lemongrass. And the reason I'm doing that is so that when we cook it, all the flavor of the lemongrass will go onto this as well. So just spread it around the piece of lemongrass and continue to do that. I've left it slightly chunky as well. So I'll do all of those and then we'll start to cook them. Okay, done. Now I can clean up and get ready to cook them. Well. I've left the skewers to settle and to stick onto the um, lemongrass sticks. I'm ready to go here. I've got my presentation ready. Got some lemon slices, a little bit of chili in case people want it. If you have an open charcoal fire, all the better. But if not, this will work just as well. They've really stuck onto the lemongrass now, so you can just place them in the pan and gently cook them, making sure that the oil's not too hot and that you cook them evenly. So turn them all the time and spread them throughout your pan. Keep your heat medium, and they'll take about eight to 10 minutes. If you're a bit worried, you can put them in the oven, but you just have to be careful they don't dry out. They're all starting to go beautifully brown on the outside. And you'll know when they're cooked because they firm right up, and they also um, will start to smell really good, but it's actually more the touch. When you can touch them and they feel nice and hard, then they're ready. So now the last thing, just before I take them out, I'll get one more of these tea bags, but that's going to be my last sprinkle on the dish before I serve it.
Last garnish on top. And I guess there's another reason to celebrate Dilma. This month we've done prawn and snapper skewers with Dilma green rooibos and lemongrass tea. Enjoy this, there's many more to come.